Earth, the planet we call our home. From deserts to snowy mountains, as surely as the seasons change, through the passage of time, every inch of our world is, as it has always been, teeming with life, with creatures large and small. Join us in celebrating the mighty wilderness in Wild About. On land, at sea, on every continent, in every ocean but the Arctic. From the plains of Africa to the jungles of South America. From the farthest reaches of the known world to our backyards. Long before civilization, before the history of our ancestors even began, weathered by time, hardened by evolution, unfazed by successors and rivals. The oldest living reptile remains. The word turtle is commonly used for all members of the order of Testodinus. There exist three distinct terms for different kinds of turtles. The term turtle itself mainly applying to semi-aquatic families of the order, with tortoises being the primarily terrestrial species of turtles, while terrapins are members of a diverse group of smaller turtles living in brackish water. Though members of all three groups are highly interrelated, spread out over 14 families, with over 300 species, herbivores and carnivores alike, turtles can be found worldwide. South of the Arctic, north of Antarctica, they range greatly in size. From the largest, the leatherback sea turtle at 6.6 .6 feet long, weighing up to 2,000 pounds, to the smallest, the speckled padlopper tortoise at a mere three inches, weighing less than five ounces. Turtles evolved over 220 million years ago during the late Triassic period stemming from a common ancestor of crocodilians and the dinosaurs, evolving ribs that curved over its own back for protection, eventually forming a soft protective shell both over and under their bodies. Its skull then simplified, losing its teeth in favor of strong, powerful, bony beak-like jaws that are direct extension of the skull itself. By the early Jurassic period, turtles were largely the same as they are today, only differing in size, such as with the archelon, which grew to be over 13 feet long, hunting squid in the vast oceans of the late Cretaceous. All turtles since then share the same basic body shape and key characteristics, the most prominent of which being their large protective shell, which in all species consists of extensions of the turtle skeleton, with their shoulder and hip girdles existing inside their rib cage as opposed to outside. The ribs have themselves been flattened and fused to form a solid surface. The only exceptions being the shells of soft-shell turtles and the leatherback sea turtle, which are only partially bony, instead being made mostly of soft, oily, leather-like skin. The shells are an extension of the turtle's ribs and spine, which fuse together during embryonic development to form the final enclosure, enveloping the entire body of the turtle, except for the limbs and the head. Additionally covered in hard scales known as scoots, the shell is used for protection against predators and to protect the body from harsh environmental conditions. The turtle shell is made up of two distinct parts, joined together at the sides by what is known as the bridge, where the two halves are fused. The top convex dome structure is known as the carapace, which can have any variety of shapes and sizes. Often high domed and irregular in shape among tortoises to make them difficult to grip and bite while water-dwelling turtles and terrapins often have slimmer, more streamlined shells to glide better underwater. The bottom, the flatter part, is known as the plastron, which among some turtles and tortoises also includes a hinge to close the head and neck opening, as turtles, tortoises, and terrapins can all withdraw their limbs and even their head inside the shell for protection. All turtles are classified into two main suborders. The more primitive Pleurodira who contract their necks to the side, including African side neck turtles, Madagascan big headed turtles, and a wide array of South American and Australian turtles. 
and the more common cryptodira, who draw their necks in by contracting it under their spine, leading to a radically different structure of their vertebrae, including all snapping turtles, sea turtles, pond turtles, box turtles, river turtles, leaf turtles, roof turtles, pig nose turtles, mud turtles, and soft-shell turtles. Like other reptiles, turtles are exotherms and are dependent on the surrounding water or air temperature to regulate their own body temperature. As a result, turtles are often found basking in the sun during the day. To elevate their body temperature to be able to dive in lukewarm waters or remain active until dusk. In colder climates, turtles also go into a state of hibernation over the winter months, known as brumation, during which they can go entirely without food slowing down their body functions, with some species of sea turtle even able to slow their heart rate down to one beat every nine minutes. Like all reptiles, however, they frequently wake up to drink water. Most species of turtles are freshwater turtles, found in rivers, lakes, and swamps worldwide. Many have evolved webbed feet ideal for paddling in the water, alternating left and right, frequently coupled with long claws that aid the turtle in climbing out of the water and onto river banks and floating logs to bask in the sunlight. A few species, such as the pignose turtle, have fused digits, forming true flippers instead, as they rarely stay long out of the water. While several other species traditionally seen as semi-aquatic additionally have periods where they are mainly terrestrial, such as Asian leaf turtles, which spend only their juvenile years in rivers and lakes. Freshwater turtles and terrapins can be found to feed on anything from aquatic plants to insects, snails, and fish. Though as protein is essential for young turtles, juveniles of any species are typically purely carnivorous. 57 species of turtle are strictly terrestrial, using their clawed feet to traverse a wide variety of terrain. They can be found in forests, deserts, grasslands, even urban environments their heavy shells and short stocky legs greatly inhibiting their speed, however. With the fastest recorded tortoise walk, a leopard tortoise being a mere 0.6 miles per hour. Generally herbivorous, these turtles feed mainly on grass, leaves, weeds, and flowers. There are only seven species remaining of sea turtle, including the green sea turtle, the loggerhead sea turtle, Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, olive Ridley sea turtle, hawksbill sea turtle, flatback sea turtle, and the leatherback sea turtle, found across oceans worldwide, as they often migrate huge distances between nesting sites, known as rookeries, and feeding grounds, where they feed on fish and marine invertebrates such as jellyfish and sponges. While some species with more powerful jaws, such as Kemp's Ridley sea turtle and the olive Ridley sea turtle, specialize in shellfish, though the green sea turtle feeds mainly on algae and kelp. All sea turtles have developed well-articulated fins for locomotion underwater, using their forelimbs to propel themselves, while their hind limbs assist in steering. Sea turtles also have a uniquely adapted respiratory system, with more red blood cells and hemoglobin than other turtles, as well as large amounts of myoglobin throughout their muscles and massive lungs all making them capable of storing enough oxygen to stay submerged for up to an hour straight on a single breath for leatherback sea turtles. Sea turtles can also employ a unique system of anaerobic respiration, allowing the turtle to, in effect, breathe even without oxygen when required, instead breaking down glucose directly on a cellular level to convert food into energy, with some turtles able to withstand an additional 30 hours in an environment devoid of any oxygen. Some species of turtles, both sea turtles, terrapins, and freshwater turtles, have also developed means of extracting oxygen from water. Similar to gills, though most often using a pair of sacs known as bursae, or finger-like extensions known as papillae, near their cloaca, the combined digestive and urogenital opening of the turtle. Sea turtles also have glands near the eyes, tongue, or nostrils to expel excess salt taken in while swimming or breathing, appearing as tears similar to crocodiles. Most turtles have additionally excellent low-light vision, with an unusually large number of rod cells in their retinas of their eyes. 
their color vision ranging the spectrum from nearly ultraviolet to full red, enabling them to see clearly both in dark muddy waters and in twilight conditions on land. As most tortoises are primarily diurnal or crepuscular, active mainly during the day and dusk, though they are often nearsighted. All turtles also have a highly developed sense of smell. Their sense of smell stems from nerve-filled bumps under their chins, known as barbells, enabling them to pick up scents not only in the air but in the water as well, with males additionally using their sense of smell to detect the presence of nearby fertile females emitting powerful pheromones. While their hearing is limited as they exhibit no outer ear or eardrum, instead merely sensing airborne vibrations and changes in water pressure, alerting them to the presence of nearby predators. The skin of a turtle is commonly either leathery, worn down by water, or dry and rough, as with tortoises. It is comprised of non-overlapping scales that, unlike the scales of a snake, do not shed at once as the turtle grows. Instead, sloughing off small sheets or individual scales as newer ones emerge underneath often aided by long hours of basking in the harsh tropical sun, or sometimes, as with the South American river turtles, aided by other turtles biting and pulling the old scales off. The turtle's skin is also highly sensitive to physical contact and heat, even able to feel the slightest touch on their shells. The mouth and beak-like jaw of a turtle is highly specialized to its diet, and often has a powerful bite relative to its size. Some turtles having flatter biting surfaces to crack the shells of crustaceans, while others, such as the snapping turtle, have famously sharp beaks, easily able to bite through any prey, as they are primarily carnivorous. They also use their bite in self-defense, or to protect their territory, often appearing highly aggressive and easily capable of injuring humans. Sexual dimorphism between turtles vary between species, though most commonly the female is distinguished by being somewhat larger, a flatter plastron, occasionally different color eyes than the male, and having a shorter tail with a narrower base. As while well, the tail of a turtle serves no purpose for females, in males it houses the reproductive organs and experiences significant growth as the male reaches maturity, extending past its back flippers or legs. Most turtles can take between two years, as with most tortoises, to 50, as with green sea turtles, to reach maturity, with maturity linked to body size rather than age for some species. Due to their significant lifespans, most turtles living between 20 to 50 years, with some going far beyond having the longest lifespans of any vertebrate, as their internal organs do not gradually break down as with other animals their cells continuously renewing their entire lives without any sign of degradation. An Aldabra giant tortoise in India, having been reported to have reached the age of 255 prior to its death from complications following an infection. Typically highly solitary, only a few turtles gather in any significant numbers, and only during migration or mating season, forming groups of males and females known as bales. Mating season occurs once a year for most freshwater turtles, terrapins, and tortoises, often around spring or early summer, with some tropical and Mediterranean species mating throughout the year, with sea turtles sometimes only mating once every two to four years. Mating is often preceded by simple courtship rituals. Readied slider male swims around the female, fluttering the backside of his long claws around her head, directing his own pheromones to the female. If she sinks to the bottom, she is accepting his invitation. While most tortoises, the female is bullied into submission by highly aggressive males, ramming, biting, and butting the female before she partially withdraws into her shell, allowing the male to mount her. While sea turtles mate in the water, several males competing for the attention of a single female, displaying the length of their neck as a sign of physical superiority and desirability. Though all turtles are generally polyandrous, the female seeking out and mating with several males to ensure genetic diversity, storing the sperm from many males in her oviducts prior to building a nest, even years if new suitable mates aren't found in succeeding seasons. Mating is often very brief 
initiated by the male, mounting the female and wrapping his tail underneath hers. After which the female turtle returns to their chosen rookery, returning to the same site every season. Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle and the Olive Ridley Sea Turtle forming large migratory groups of females, known as Aribadas, all coming ashore to lay eggs. As sea turtles, terrapins, and freshwater turtles lay their eggs on or near a beach, while tortoises commonly lay their eggs on hillsides, often facing south to be exposed to as much sun as possible, the specific spot chosen by careful sampling of the soil, the female feeling the ground with her snout to ensure the soil is not too dense or humid to sustain the eggs. Once there, she begins to dig an egg chamber, a long and arduous process for most turtles, sometimes taking hours to complete followed by the laying of the eggs. Turtles typically lay a clutch of anywhere between a single egg to hundreds at a time, depending on the species. The most laid by hawksbill turtles, which can lay over 200 eggs at a time. Many species laying between one to nine clutches per season, a few weeks apart. The eggs are typically proportionally small, soft and leathery and round in shape. While tortoise eggs are often harder, adapted for a drier climate and nest site, more like chicken eggs. The eggs are then buried in sand or mud and left to incubate, after which the mother returns to her daily routine. And the eggs and coming hatchlings are left to their own devices. It takes the young turtles between 60 and 120 days to hatch, depending on the species. The temperature of the eggs determines gender. Higher temperatures of incubation trigger male hormone production in the embryos, with the average temperature for most nests being a constant around 30 degrees Celsius with varying temperatures sometimes leading to malformations and collapse of the eggs. While inside the egg, the turtle is bent over, folded in half over their still soft plastron, eventually straightening until their heads are pressed up against the shell. A bony protrusion at the end of their snout, known as an egg tooth, breaking through once they've consumed the egg yolk. The egg tooth eventually either falls off or wears down as the turtle grows older. The hatchlings then emerge as miniature versions of their parents. Tortoise hatchlings often scatter after hatching, looking for food and a source of drinking water, while sea turtle hatchlings and many terrapins and freshwater turtles instead head straight for the nearest body of water, where many species depend on thick beds of seaweed for food and to protect them from predators, spending most of the first five years of their lives close to shore. Though some, such as the ready slider hatchlings, cannot enter the water until three weeks after hatching, as their plastron has yet to harden fully, often seen with a visible crack where the turtle was bent inside the egg. The mortality rate for young turtles is extremely high, with less than 1% of all hatchlings surviving their first year. As their shells have yet to harden fully, they are even slower than their adult counterparts, and they are small enough to be picked on even by small predators such as lizards, snakes, birds, dogs, and jackals. The word turtle stems from an alternate English spelling of the French word tortoise, itself stemming from the ancient Greek word for something from Tartarus, the mythical underworld. As tortoises and turtles were once believed to have hailed from the land of the dead, Turtles have long been important mythological figures and cultures around the world, often as a figure of wisdom and longevity, as well as more ambiguous figures of deceit and treachery, owing to their dual nature of living on both land and sea. African myths often portrayed them as cunning tricksters and clever heroes, while in ancient Egypt, depictions of the Nile turtle were used as magical talismans to ward off evil and to protect one's life and health. In later dynasties, also known as a symbol for evil, ritually sacrificed and speared as enemies of the sun god Ra, while their bodies were dissected with parts used for medicinal and cosmetic purposes, later worshipped as one of four entities to hold spirit in Chinese mythology, together with the dragon, rhino, and phoenix, in particular used as a military symbol, mirroring the fierce mythical dragon. The tortoise is also an integral part of their creation myth. The flat plastron and domed carapace mirroring the ancient belief of a flat earth and domed sky. In Hindu mythology, the turtle is also integral to the formation of the cosmos, 
as the world is thought to rest on the backs of four elephants standing on a giant world turtle. Similarly, among Native American traditions, the world is formed by mud kneaded by the great spirit creator Maheo, which is then so heavy only the grandmother turtle can support it on her back. While more modern depictions have centered on the turtle's slowness, perseverance, and perceived ingenuity, often part of children's fairy tales and fables depicted in books and cartoons. Today, the popular image of turtles have led them to becoming a flagship animal for conservation efforts, often used as a symbol for animal rights and environmental causes. Turtles themselves are currently also used to promote significant ecotourism in many countries, particularly sea turtles, with a common source of ecotourism being observing and aiding hatchlings get from their nest to the ocean. Turtles are also common today as pets, particularly in Western countries kept either outdoors or confined in aquariums and terrariums due to the perception of turtles being easy to maintain in their long lifespans. Though often many turtles are unintentionally mistreated as the tradition is new and there exists comparatively little documentation on how to care for turtles, with the shells further complicating dealing with their health concerns. This has led to many turtles either dying due to complications or being kept in unsuitable environments, not getting enough sunlight, or due to mating. As many owners unwittingly try to crossbreed species with disastrous results, and as turtles are notoriously picky with their nesting sites, many impregnated turtles in captivity refuse to nest and instead suffer complications for not expelling the eggs. As with most reptiles, turtles also carry Salmonella bacteria in their bowels, making it easy for owners to contract Salmonellosis leading to many countries adopting strict regulations on what turtles are legally to be sold to prospective pet owners. Turtles are also a common delicacy in a number of cultures, turtle soup being highly popular in many cultures, particularly in Asia, leading to ever-increasing amounts of turtles both hunted and farmed for their meat. The plastron from turtles is also considered valuable in Chinese traditional medicine. In the creation of the medicinal dessert Guilingao, sold in the millions across Southeast Asia. Fat from turtles is also used extensively in Latin America in the production of cosmetics, often marketed as crema de tortuga, or cream of turtle, with additional threats to turtles being climate change and deforestation. The acidification and pollution of oceans, lakes, and rivers in particular threatening many turtles, as well as overfishing threatening the diet of sea turtles. While tortoises and freshwater turtles endemic to rainforests are threatened by significant loss of habitat, tortoises being particularly vulnerable, with over 70% of all tortoise species almost gone. 27 species of turtles today are on the very brink of becoming extinct, with over 240 additional species being threatened or critically endangered. Turtles may be beloved worldwide. It appears that despite their long legacy and supposed longevity, their time is quickly running out. Only the most intensive conservation efforts may save them, but even then it may be too late. Once this was their world, we may only hope it will return to them once again, as the mighty turtle perseveres on land, at sea, on every continent, in every ocean, as one of the last remaining wild animals on Earth.